All right, welcome back. It is the Vegas Take. Sharp and Shapiro, what is that? I like this tune. It sounds Johnny, it sounds retro 80s-ish. I'm thinking Johnny, 82, 83-ish, you know, back Johnny in picks, the uh, <laughs> ad- androgynous days, you know. When, Our producer, Johnny, picks the, the best uh, bumper music. Johnny, who was that that you played there? Go on the air and tell us who that was. That was a band called Part Time. They actually just played here last night at the Bunkhouse. Oh, that's the show you saw. Okay, exactly. cool. I yeah. kind of like that. That was kind of a good <laughs> tune. A little retro. I like the cars or something. I kind of like that. Anyway, welcome back to the show. The Vegas Take Sharp and Shapiro. Chris Wynn in studio. We were talking a little UNLV hoops, but we're going to move on now and talk a little Donald Trump. That's right. My favorite subject to talk about on this show is I know it's JD's as well. Well, Donald Trump decided to go a little crazy on Twitter over the weekend, even by his standards. Let's start with John McCain. This is what he said about John McCain over the weekend. He said, spreading the fake and totally discredited dossier is unfortunately a very dark stain against John McCain. He tweeted this on Saturday, and then he went on to say, so it was indeed just proven in court papers, quote, last in his class, John McCain. So he's going after John McCain's grades, a a man who just died, a hero. He goes on to talk about the fake dossier to the FBI and the media, hoping to have it printed before the election. Uh, He and the Dems working together failed, as usual. Even the fake news refused this garbage. So he also went went nuts talking about Saturday Night Live. Uh, Judge Jeanine over on Fox News, who I believe was suspended for her idiotic, anti, you know, inflammatory Muslim remarks uh, that she spoke about. So uh, Fox News actually decided to suspend her. He, uh, you know, Trump went on about that. And uh, John McCain's daughter said, no one will ever love you the way they loved my father. I wish I had been given more Saturdays with him. Maybe spend yours with your family instead of on Twitter obsess- obsessing over mine. So once again, you know, this is John, this is, this is Donald Trump using his platform, acting like a complete idiot, going on Twitter, insulting a war hero once again, you know, and then he says, bring back Judge Jeanine. The radical left Democrats working closely with their beloved partner, the fake news media. He goes on and talks about that. He also talks about Tucker Carlson taking Tucker Carlson's defense. Here's the worst part about this, okay? 50 50 people died in a terrorist attack by a white supremacist. Donald Trump, one tweet, thoughts and prayers with the victims and families. He had one tweet, and he had 10 times the tweets going after John McCain and defending, you know, Judge Jeanine. One tweet about this horrific terrorist attack that took place where I believe it's 50 innocent people have lost their lives. So am I wrong on this, calling the president once again, showing absolutely no class, going after John McCain, who just passed away not that long ago, and not focusing on all the other issues that are facing the country, including a horrific terrorist attack that had taken place? I mean, this is insane, and I'll take phone calls on this. I want to get your thoughts on this one. The number to call, 257-5396-702-257-5396. Thoughts about Donald Trump losing his mind again on Twitter, going after John McCain, insulting his grades that he got. I mean, this is just, this is just beyond ridiculous, and it's getting worse, and, he, and he just, it, it just gets lower and lower. What do you guys say to this? Well, this is what happens, Brian and J.D., when your priorities are out of whack, okay, and you decide to make or talk about or tweet about issues that really have no significance when you should be focusing in other areas. This is also a result of not having a communications director. The communications director resigned, I believe, four or five days ago, so he has no communications director. Not that Donald Trump, as president, needs a communications director because he's his own (laughs) communications director. This is also a result of having... A, you know, a, a basically a chief of staff in name only in Mick Mulvaney. Mick Mulvaney is not I mean, he has zero c- control over President Trump. And he and basically, I don't know what his job is. OK, and he's the chief of staff. So when you have this type of I don't know if the best word to use of this disorganization in the administration and you have just so many so many areas that are just are, are vo- a void. They don't have these positions filled. That's where you end up with, uh, you know, a lack of prioritizing and not and not be focused on, in on what you need to be focused well, on as well, commander in chief. Well, where's the insult here? Last in his class at, at Annapolis. Well, no, the reason why I brought that up, JD, no, is because I, I of course the, 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 the scandal in the last but, but, but week. That, but that's a very very good institution. Well, no, no, no. You know, what, no what, JD, does, JD, does, what, talk- what does last in your class at Annapolis The reason he brought to? that up is because, of course, there's a scandal going on with celebrities right. and prominent wealthy individuals with the college cheating scandal. And so he brought that up to kind of tie that in. 
which interestingly enough is is kind of crazy for Trump yeah. to do because people actually are thinking about Donald Trump now and bringing up his past academically with a tie to this. The but that's why but, he brought that up. It, it wasn't. Yeah. But if it, this if, if this FBI uh, d- dossier thing is actually true. Do you really blame him? Well, for it's saying, not true. It's it's for, it's for, a, for, it's for a, saying something it's about. It's not it? true though, JD. It's a it's a that's a belief that a lot of people on the hard right, especially not necessarily you, JD, or others that are supporters of Trump, but there's there's people that believe the only reason you know if, that we have an investigation is because of this dossier. It's the only reason, right? When the fact of the matter is, there are a number of reasons why this if, investigation if, if it into, is into true. Donald Trump I, I don't have a huge issue with him calling him out for it, but I don't agree with me- mentioning the the last year class. It's not like he went to. A community college. Annapolis is a very, very good institution. And by the way, though, right. McCain. So, so what, what, where really is the insult there? I don't, I don't see it. Uh, I, I absolutely well, think it's, well, it's, it's a not cheap alive, shot. too. So that's kind yeah. of, I mean, that's oh, kind of the point, too, is that it's he's passed shot. away. He can't, he can't defend himself. And, and by the way, McCain yeah. provided a copy of this dossier to the FBI after Election Day. Okay. And I thought that was the right thing to do. He didn't want it to interfere, okay, in the elections. You know, that's, that's what I call class, whether how true it was or how not true it was. Look, he gave it to the FBI. You guys deal with it, okay? Mm-hmm. He didn't want it to interfere in the elections. The bottom line is John McCain is a war hero. You can dis- I say this all the time on the show. I disagree with a lot of his politics. Always have. And he was anti-gambling, anti-Vegas, a lot of anti-things that I like, okay? I don't know if he's anti-massage parlors. Uh, I, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, we'll have to ask Kraft on that one. But the bottom line is, you know, John McCain, a war hero. And... We, it, they go way back. They go back to when Donald Trump insulted John McCain for being captured at war. And this is the same guy who dodged the military because of his so, uh, alleged bone spurs. And now, after McCain dies, he just can't let it go. He cannot let it rest. And I am not a big fan of John McCain's daughter, but she is absolutely right. Nobody will love John McCain. Like, you know, you know no, nobody's, no, nobody's going to love Donald Trump. They, like, right. I, I agree with that 100%. Do you think it is fair for the president of the United States to continue to attack the war hero that is John McCain literally months after he passes away? Does anybody, is anybody out there okay with that? Let me give out the number. 257-5396 is the number to call. Again, 702 257 Five three nine six. The insults with Donald Trump to continue. He goes after Saturday Night Live. He goes after the people at Fox News that suspended Judge Janine. He defends Tucker Carlson, a misogynistic pig. These these are the people that Donald Trump hangs around. It seems like these are the people that are around him. Again, that number two five seven five three nine six. Let's go to Gary. Gary, thanks for calling in. How are you? What's up? Hey, how are you? Doing good. Um, I just want to give you a heads up, man. There's a guy out there that calls all the radio stations, but his best friend uh, Doug Basham has been on uh, put on the, uh, what do you call on the bench uh, temporarily uh, until they make a decision. And okay. his name is Clinical Carl. He'll probably be calling you soon. Okay. Because, like you, you lean towards uh, his his point of view that Donald right. Trump is Fair a enough. bum. So what's your opinion, Gary, on this? Let's let's focus. Well, my on, opinion yeah. is that what do you call it? Uh, um, every chance you get, you do pick on. President Trump, and uh, that's good. That's America. We have different uh, opinions. That's what it's all about. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say every chance I get. You don't, uh, Gary. Are you saying? I you, wouldn't oh, say yeah, you okay, pick okay. on. Uh, you did. You did. You did give him some uh, credit a few times. Well, it's not true. about giving credit. It's when you go after a war hero like this after he passed away several months ago, and you you make those comments about his grades, and you just you just go after him. You know, the guy just doesn't know how to how to stop. He can't control himself. Well, like someone else smarter than me said once. I didn't vote for the man. I voted for what he wants to do. All right. Well, so. he wanted to build a wall, and he wanted Mexico to pay for it, so he's certainly not doing that. Gary, it's always good to hear from you, my man. I appreciate the call. And we're not picking on him, okay? He is the president of the United States. What we do is we bring up instances that take place. And in the last few days, yes. incidents have taken place where Donald Trump has done things that are, as Brian pointed out, quote-unquote, beyond the pale, okay? So it's not like we're just, you know— Picking and choosing here and no. there the things that he is the present. Right. He is going to be covered. We are going to talk about him. Okay. No so doubt. that is the reason why the discussion goes yes. on. Two five seven five three nine six seven oh two two five seven five three nine six. J D you okay? You're in a little you look like you're in a food coma after having that candy bar. No, you, was, right? you know, my Twix was great. Oh, okay. It wasn't right. wasn't too bad. Just, just, yeah, I'm, I'm just checking I'm out. Doing, you. I'm doing more than fine I'm over just, here. I'm just checking out on my coast because you. I Thank care. Thank you for your concern. I care about you. It really Thank means you. a lot. Thank you. I don't care about a lot of people, so that you should take that as a compliment. I don't even care about myself. Let's go to Ray. 
Ray, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you, Ray? Hey, good morning. Hey, what's, what's up, up, Ray? Uh, you know, Trump feels like he's being attacked nonstop. Right. And th there is evidence that proves 90% of all coverage of Trump has been negative. So he feels like he's constantly under attack. So, so the way to handle that is to go after a war veteran and John McCain? Is that what you're saying? Well, I think that John McCain was the one that initiated this dossier, and he just happens to be the first that initiated it. Now, is he dead? Yes. But if, if, we're mentioning this dossier, McCain which which obviously was an attempt to to stop Donald Trump from becoming president, which is, again, another no, attack on him. that's not true. That's right. It was after the elections. He tried to yeah. actually stop Trump from becoming president. Right. Which is a serious offense. That's what, a nasty what do you mean? Well, hold on a second. Serious offense. Well, 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 what do you mean? It was after the elections. I'm trying to. This dossier yes. you're talking about. He didn't try to stop Donald Trump from becoming president. What are you talking about? He was the one who legitimized the dossier by. Giving but he didn't hand it over to the FBI till after election day. So if your if your argument is he tried to stop Donald Trump from becoming president, why didn't he do it a month earlier? He did. No, he didn't. The horse was already out of the barn. It was already done. It was signed, sealed, delivered. He was already president of the United States. Which was nothing more than political opposition. All right, that's fine. Hey, Ray, all right, Ray, let me ask you a question then. Let me pull back here for a second. You're okay. you're going after John McCain for turning over a dossier to the FBI, but you haven't said one negative thing about Donald Trump attacking John McCain, the war hero, attacking his service for being a POW in war. You haven't you have, you're not criticizing that at all, but you choose to criticize John McCain in this dossier. It, is, is that what I'm understanding? Yes. Okay, well, uh, with all due respect, in, in all, Ray, I think fairness, that's ridiculous. Brian, he, he's been on the line for about 93 seconds. <laughs> I, mean, I think we're getting the chance to bring that up. I think we're getting the weeds on all this. The, the, on the whole issue of the dossier is not the point of what we, what went on this weekend. The point is is the priorities of the, of the President of the United States. Why are you discussing a, a passed-away war veteran who served in the U.S. In, in, as, as a senator and, and not and not discussing, obviously, the, sh the shooting in, in, in New yeah. Zealand with respect because, to because Muslims? After, after, I mean, what happened, after what happened with Carlson and Janine Pirro, Trump feels that his supporters are being silenced in the media, and, well, it's going, and, and, and it's going to affect him in the 2020 election. You're right, though. That Jeanine, that's, the Jeanine that, Pirro thing it, it from. Has, has initiated a lot of outrage as well, too, because she is absolutely 100% in the wrong. There's no you can, See, this is what happens here. We have people that, and I'm not talking about you, J.D., I'm talking about those those out there are who you are sure, Trump supporters. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, I'm talking about people out there who try to defend the indefensible, and what I'm talking about is Jeanine Pirro, right? I'm talking about Comments made by pr Trump that are obviously racist Islam in nature. Islamophobic yes, remarks. Is yeah. Islamophobia. Yeah. I'm talking about stuff like no, that. No, I know, I know. Defending the indefensible is you something that it. has become, yeah, it's, it's an epidemic in you, this country You can't right defend now. it. Two five seven five three nine. Let's go to Lou. Lou, thanks for calling in. How are you, Lou? I'm all right. How are you doing today? Doing good, my man. What's, hey, on, Lou. what's on your mind? Oh, uh, well, I mean, you guys are talking about this dossier. Who does the dossier point to? It points to all the Democrats. Yeah, but that's not, I mean... Even if that's, you know what the, I, mean? I understand, but I even mean, if that, that, I mean, it, I, I, I don't, I don't condone him going after John McCain and all that. But I mean, why does the media con not consider all the positive things that he's doing? Why does the media not he's consider doing a lot of positive things? Why does the media not consider all the positive things that he is doing? Well, right, um, like for the economy, unemployment, jobs. Um, well, let me ask you a question: Did you give Barack Obama credit uh, in his fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth year when the economy was heading in the right direction, Lou? You know, you know, I mean, I, I was a supporter of Barack Obama, but now it looks like that Barack Obama was not the most outstanding guy. Well, but I was just talking about the economy. I mean, these are things that Trump, you know, Trump has certainly the economy is in, has been continuing to go in the right direction. You're right. Unemployment. Doing much good. OK, unemployment. Very good. OK, but that's oh. what I'm asking you. Obama did the same thing. Look at look at from the third year to the eighth year. Look at the improvement with the economy. Look at the improvement with the unemployment numbers. Did you? So I'm asking you, did you give Lou? Did you give Barack Obama the same credit that you're willing to give Donald Trump with I, all the great I, things? I don't, that, I don't I don't think it was focused upon as much as it is Trump, though. You're Isn't talking about the correct? negative stuff. I mean, that wasn't really my question. I was neg just... neg neg negative, negative or positive. When, when Barack Obama was in office, it was mostly um, Obamacare. Is he going to pass Obamacare? I mean, did you watch? And, I mean, Fox... he did. did Obama, you... Obama did a, a lot of negative things. Failure. Fast and Furious. Nobody bring, brought, brings that up. Benghazi. Nobody brings that up. Wait, what do you mean nobody brought it up? That's all Fox News talked about for years. They still talk yeah, about yeah. it now. I mean, what, do, what does what does CNN talk about constantly? But Fox News constantly Bonnie went after Daniels. Brock... Well, Fox News went after Barack Obama for eight years. Were you complaining about that? I mean, I, I, I it's a very can't simple say here, question. Here or, there, here, or, here or there. 
What do you mean you can't say here nor there? So you're attacking CNN for going after yeah. Donald Trump, and I'm just trying to figure out if you're not biased. They constantly go after okay. him. And you're telling me Fox News didn't constantly go after Barack Obama for eight years? Is that what I you're saying? Think, I don't think they quite did that. Oh, okay. All right, Lou. Have a nice day. See you later. You, uh, know, just, what you, you know what you should do, Brian? You should play for the listeners out there, like, like Lou there. That that tape that you played for me that you showed me the tape where they no, focus what, on what, what you should do is you should they focus on the hypocrisy with, with respect to Donald Trump you, you and should, how they talk about him you in should a Google, positive form. You, you as, should you know what I'm saying though. Go go back in time. Go not, obviously not go back in time. But look what, when you when you Google Barack Obama's name every six months during his presidency, what will come up for the articles and what comes up when you Google Donald Trump's name in his presidency. And you'll see, and you'll see a stark, stark comparison. It'll I'll be much more, reason. it'll be no, much more negative you know on Donald Trump than Barack Obama. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a stone cold well, lock. I'm a professional sports better. I never say this. <laughs> yeah. That's a stone cold lock, 100 percent guarantee. Well, well take what, a look. What's the guarantee? Though? I don't understand what the, what, what you're that, saying. Though. When, what's when, the you, guarantee? when you Google Donald Trump's name yes. compared to Barack Obama's name, uh huh. Mm-hmm. It'll be much more what? negative content oh. popping up first. I could oh, be wrong. Absolutely. I could be wrong. Then, 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 then at any I point in Barack more. Obama's presidency, I could which, be wrong which on is this. a huge but deal. But I couldn't agree with you more. I could and be wrong on this. There's a reason before. Though. I could be wrong on this, but I do recall Donald, uh, Barack Obama never calling the media fake news. I never call, recall Barack Obama attacking every single person that disagrees with him. I don't recall Barack Obama uh, having sexual relations with a woman just months after his, one of his wives, one of his, uh, you know, uh, has a child. I don't recall Barack Obama. Doing, uh, going after you know POWs. I don't recall Barack Obama yes. doing any of these disrespectful things that Donald Trump does on a, on a regular basis. And uh, I think uh, in, in some cases, are people way to the left and they just want to attack anybody on the right? Absolutely. I agree with mm-hmm. that. But I think in a lot of other cases, Donald Trump does it to himself the way he acts, the way he talks to the media, the way he just treats people. 257-5396, 702-257-5396, number to call. Let's go to Merrick. Merrick, thanks for calling in. How are you? Okay, good. Uh, I enjoy your show. Thank you. Thanks, Merrick. All right. Um, cool name, by the way. Uh, how old are you? Too old, Merrick. Too old. No, come on. Tell me how old are you. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll answer that if you tell me how old you are. You're, How's you're that? Graduate, hey, your education, <laughs> your, your, your talking, your speech is giving you away. I'm 38. I tell that you have that you have been educated by the leftists. Educational Institute. Can I can I answer respond to that, Merrick? <laughs> hey, Merrick, is that, is it, I, I'm are 33. They, uh, can I respond? Are to they the Mountain West Conference? Is yeah. that the Mountain West Conference? Merrick, um, first of all, I'm an independent. Second of all, I voted for Republicans. And third of hey, all, wait, 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 hold wait. on, no, 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 don't you wait. Let me what? finish. Let me finish. Obama. Let me finish. Obama hated America. Right. He hated right. white people. Where's your proof of that, Merrick? <laughs> are you are, are you kidding me? Hey, hey did uh, oh what, what color was Barack? Hey. He went out of the apology tour. Hey, big guy. Hey, big guy. What? What? Uh, what? Who? What? Uh, what race was Barack Obama's mother? <laughs> White. There, there you go. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So, okay, America. But wait a minute. Hey. <laughs> yeah. He hated America. What are he you talking about? America down. What are you talking what? about? He hated are you America. Trying to honestly compare. Barack Obama with Donald Trump? Yeah, I will. Donald uh, Trump is the only guy fighting mm-hmm. for this country. And I got to tell you, <laughs> I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim. Merrick, did you go I'm to Eric. a right-wing college? Are you are you a uh, – Merrick, I mean, look, I appreciate the call, Merrick, but, I mean, some of the things you're saying are just completely looney tunes. Take your medication. That is ridiculous. Barack Obama hated America. Barack Obama hated white people. What the hell are you talking about? You are out of your mind. To, you're, you're one of those people where Donald Trump said he'd, you know, you'll vote for him if he shot somebody on 51st Street. Merrick, you're that guy. 257 5396 702 257 5396. I went to Central Connecticut State University in college to answer your question, and I don't think anyone even said the word Republican or Democrat to me, and I never spoke politics in college. So there's your answer there. Jeez. Michael, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. Michael, how are you? I'm doing all right. What's up, my friend? Um, well, I guess the one one thing I have a comment about is keep saying that because John McCain has deceased, that he's no longer 
You can't talk about anything that he did. No, I didn't say that. He no. can't defend himself. I, he can't it. defend himself. Michael, he's passed I, away. I, wouldn't, I really don't. Uh, I didn't say that, Michael. I you can talk about John uh-huh. McCain and you can criticize his politics. Michael, I don't have a problem with that. But when you say last in his class, you go after his grades, what does that have to do with the issue? If Donald Trump was unhappy with the dossier and all that stuff, then just say that. But he goes after these cheap shots, these insults. And they have a history, Michael, if you remember. Do you remember when, when Donald Trump was running for president and he said, I don't don't respect John McCain because he was captured. I prefer people that weren't captured. You see what I'm saying, Michael? Yeah, they have a history that was that. disrespectful, Michael, right? Um, I didn't think it was completely what? disrespectful. Wait, wait, it's 100% on. disrespectful. And, uh, it's wait, not even a question. My, it's my not even a debate. It's not even a discussion. He volunteered. And okay, he said, uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're 100 percent wrong, Michael. He doesn't believe that John McCain was a hero. And all right, hold on, Michael. JD is, is a Republican. The canary. My co-host. My co-host is a Republican. Oh, I hear you, Michael. Uh, my co-host you is know. a Republican. Okay, my co-host supports Donald Trump. JD, do you agree with Michael that it wasn't a big deal? Which situation? That when he went after John McCain about his war service and said, I don't respect him because he was captured. That, okay was, that? that was incredibly stupid. Thank you. That's all I'm, I want. I'm, I'm a big Donald Trump guy, but that was incredibly stupid. Disrespectful, and, and, right? it just, it, What's the point? What, what's his reasoning behind it? What's that accomplishing? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. totally counterproductive, yeah. and it's unbecoming of the President of the well, United States. Well, yes. you remember at the time, they were at, they were at odds with each other at the I time. Just, I understand that. I understand that. He was alive. They were at odds. So you're defending it because they were at odds? You're okay with it? But wow. but that I mean, he, but was, that, he was caught. He was caught. That doesn't so yeah, what? Just because somebody's caught sh- doesn't make him a war hero. I mean, a lot of what are you talking about? What, all, all, all Michael? Like Michael, I'm turning into a tomato. You're telling me it doesn't make someone a hero if they go through torture and do what John McCain did because but he that, wouldn't give out information. That, he was tortured. That being said, that he one did thing did not eliminate everything else. They've got for recordings me. of him after he after he was deceased. Then all the recordings started coming out. Oh my God! Showing that that. Uh, so, so let me get this right. Propaganda for Vietnam. He All right, said, let me so get this straight. You want to criticize this, John McCain? That. You want to criticize some of the people did in All right, Japan, I, I and that's get, considered a traitor. They're I get your point. Well, and I, and I think I think part of it, and Brian, when exactly did and this the happen? Reason, and the reason they they thought they got a prize because his right. father was an admiral, All so right. they really got a prize. Was, with Brian, him was, was this during the campaign or after he was elected? This was this was before this was on the campaign. Okay, so so what he was trying to do was was sway former John McCain. Followers, more or less, no, in his direction. It was, a, it was a pure and uh, simple. I'm, I'm, I understand. I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it was there's an no, a comment, but I'm yeah. sure it was. It is amazing. I'm sure, that, I'm sure he had some type of. There's no justification. To with his all madness. due respect, yeah. Michael. There's I no justification. With all it. due respect, Michael, I appreciate the call, but I am still amazed that there are people out there like you that will go after John McCain and attack him for being a prisoner of war. And I don't hear you say one negative thing about Donald Trump. People like you make me sick. Let's go to Paul. Paul, thanks for calling in. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, Paul. Good, Paul. What's on your mind? Uh, not much. I was just kind of <laughs> chuckling at myself a little bit, you know, listening to this back and forth kind of thing. You know, I mean, uh, am I a Trump guy? Yeah, I'm kind of a Trump guy. But, hey, make no mistake, I do think he sticks his foot in his mouth a little bit. And right. I mean to, you know, attack somebody who's passed away. Certainly that right. can't gain him anything politically, obviously. And uh, even on both sides, like Democrats and Republicans, I sure. wish they would spend more time. Um, Absolutely. Explaining what they want to do to make things better instead there of making you go. each other look worse yeah. than each other to try and make themselves not look as bad as the other person. You know, I mean, yeah. you, you understand where I'm going with that, man? Paul, I could, Paul, all- I just I got, stay on the line, Paul. First of all, let me just say I could not agree with you more. And I always say this, the two worst words in this country, Republican and Democrat, because too many people make decisions what's best for their party and not best for America. And in no way, shape, or form am I not saying the Democrats play the same dirty deeds as the Republicans. No doubt. But it just so happens that we have a Republican as the president now, of the United now, States. Now, I will say this. I have less problems with his recent statements about McCain than I do his uh, his former ones. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I thought what he said about John McCain being there's, a prisoner of war was horrendous. Yeah, there, there's, yeah. Actually some, there's actually some yeah. structure to this. Yeah. Go ahead, Paul. There's there's reason yeah, behind and, it. Um, and also, I mean, in, in another part of me thinks is that maybe it's not so much Republicans against Democrats and Democrats against Republicans, but I think that the world economy – is got a part to play in this and i think there's a uh i don't think we've gotten over the 2008 uh economic uh crisis that we had and i you know some people are saying i'm no expert obviously but some people are saying like uh in the next year and a half that this uh two to three quadrillion dollar bubble that the world economy has in debt as Mm -hmm. far as 
mortgages or student loan debt or credit yeah. card debt or yeah. whatever it may be is all going to come a call in like derivatives and right. there's just not going to be enough money to call it people or go to ATMs and maybe they won't be able to get cash one day. Um, and it doesn't look like it because our economy seems to be doing yeah. all right. But I mean, you see what's happening in China and, um, oh, yeah, sure. you know, with Brexit. And I mean, there's, you know, I wonder if that world economy isn't, you know, kind of behind this a little bit more than what mm-hmm. people see. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a valid point. That's a valid question. Uh, Paul, I appreciate the phone call. Thank you for, uh, Thank you for calling in. Good to hear from you, Paul. Let's why don't we try to squeeze in one more call. And by the way, I agree with Paul, uh, and I, I appreciate his statements. He's a Trump supporter, but yet he's saying, "Look, he puts his foot in his mouth." He absolutely does. Let's take one more call before we go to break. Let's go to Jeff. Jeff, thanks for calling in. How are you? Good. Uh, I just had a. I wanted to get your and JD's take on this point, which is um, one thing that bugs me a lot is when you have a figure like. Uh, a John McCain on the right or Elijah Cummings on the left. Those are the two that come to mind right away who did something great many, many years ago. In McCain's case, he was a war hero and he was in the Hanoi Hilton and was tortured and all that. And it's, you know, great service to the country. In uh, Elijah Cummings case, he was a, a, you know, a, a prominent figure in the civil rights movement and, you know, did all that stuff. And that's all very commendable. But what bugs me is it seems like people like that then are somehow immunized from criticism for the rest of their career, no matter how stupid or, or whatever other things that they do. Um, well, Jeff, let me so respond like to that. If somebody I, attacks like John yeah. McCain or Elijah Cummings, they can't. You let know, me let me respond to that, the, Jeff. I, I understand. I understand your point, Jeff. Let me answer this in the best way that I can. It's one thing to attack someone based on their politics, based on their policies. It is something completely different to personally attack somebody, especially somebody that's not alive, about their grade scores and then going after somebody because of their service in war and being captured. You can, you can go after someone's policies. Trump can go on there and say, I don't agree with what Mr. Cain said in regards to the dossier. I don't agree with this policy. I don't agree with this vote. I wouldn't have a problem with that, Jeff, but he doesn't do that. He doesn't have any class. He cannot go after somebody without personally attacking them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand that. I'm just saying in the larger context, like, there's been many examples for both of those two figures I mentioned where, you know, in order to sort of immunize themselves from criticism or their, their supporters, they immediately default to this. Well, how can you criticize, you know, how can you question John McCain's you know, patriotism or this or that based on some decision he's made, whether it's to sort of undercut the conservative movement if you're on the right or, you know, doing something that conservatives don't like on the left because the media rarely criticizes anybody in the Democrat Party. But if if somebody on the right criticizes an Elijah Cummings, then it's like, you know, how can you, you know, possibly – do that he's such a great figure from this i haven't heard i haven't heard anybody say that when it comes to it going after him for policy i don't i'm I'm, I'm trying to i'm struggling where you're coming from up on this one is this not happened or i mean it's something that i've seen a lot over the years all right go ahead chris this is a perfect topic to play the what if obama did it game okay what if barack obama had said what donald trump had said about john mccain the Republican Party, his opponents, everybody that are Trump supporters now on that side of the uh, the right, whatever you want to call it, would have gone berserk if President Obama had said exactly what President what, what Donald Trump said about John McCain. It's as simple as that. Do you agree with that, JD? There would be a, a, an interesting <laughs> backlash for sure. But yeah, I, I agree that just you know, accomplishing one thing, in, in, people tend to kind of rest on their laurels for that one accomplishment. But if you continually do stupid things after that, or or illegal things, or felonious things, or whatever it is, you should definitely be criticized for that. I don't think I think immunization is probably a strong word, but there is definitely some hypocrisy mm-hmm. that exists with that. Yeah, no doubt. Well, uh, when we come back. Elizabeth Warren making news today in a CNN town hall. I'll tell you exactly what she says in regards to the Electoral College and much, much more coming back. And, of course, we will take your calls at 257-5396. Again, 702-257-5396. You won't find a more interactive show than The Vegas Take. We love taking your calls. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back right after this on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM, K Dawn.